So meditation, as we conventionally understand it, uh, you know, let's start there. Uh, so we all lead lives filled with activities. We're always, you know, busy picking up the kids, cooking, working, driving. It's activity A to activity B until finally the day is over, we go to sleep. Now, meditation is an unusual kind of activity where we say that I want to not do anything. I want to simply sit quietly and most likely keep my eyes closed. And I'm going to do this special activity that I call meditation so that I get in touch with something that I don't even know what it is. But it's something that'll help me settle down, relax, and maybe discover some higher truths. So this is where we start. Meditation as a special activity where we are quiet and sort of go within. And that is a perfectly fine working definition of meditation. Um, as we walk down the path, when we meditate for years and years and years, the definition of meditation changes. And so I'd like to share with you what meditation means a little bit further down. Meditation starts, like I said, as an activity that I, the meditator, am performing. Increasingly what happens in meditation is meditation becomes an activity where the meditator disappears or dissolves where there is simply an open, expansive state of consciousness, which simply is. And in this expansive state, everything is crystal clear, everything is complete, everything is fulfilled, and there's a deep sense of contentment and peace. And this is what we discover is a non-act as a non-activity. So notice how meditation was the special activity. Now it becomes a non-activity. And there is no body doing this activity or this non-activity. There's simply thisness, suchness, isness, these kinds of things. So in fact, Meditation becomes something very different than where we started. And in fact, this is the beginning of a whole nother, you could say, a completely different way of living, where initially we, we were sitting down quietly to meditate. But now what starts happening is that we are moving through life, whether that's working, or whether that's taking care of kids or whatever. And the meditation is continuing because that state of expansive consciousness continues. That say, state of being centered and alive continues. So even though our eyes may be open, we are engaged, we're still in meditation. So meditation becomes a 24 hour a day, including sleep, activity, which is a non-activity, where there's meditation going on and there's nobody meditating. So as you can see, every definition that we had initially has, has, has really collapsed. And meditation becomes a way of living, which we no longer have to pull out and say, this is meditation. It becomes life itself. When you choose light, life becomes increasingly joyful, purposeful, and inspired. I invite you to join me to explore the realms of light, the infinite possibilities that light offers.